everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you six finger food ideas. They're perfect for parties or get-togethers. They are very simple and easy and yet they're so delicious. And also the ingredients are very simple. As usual, all the ingredients will be listed down below the video in the description box. But before we start, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. And now, let's start! So the first thing I'm gonna do is tuna pinwheels. They are so light and delicious and very simple to make. The ingredients are very simple and few and basic. And they look so cute on the table. So for the ingredients, I'm gonna need some uh, chopped red bell pepper, some celery and some onions, some granulated garlic, paprika and oregano, of course tuna, and some green olives, salt and black pepper, olive oil, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, some lettuce and tomatoes and finally some tortilla bread which I have a recipe on my channel now I'm gonna mix all the ingredients of the filling so I'm gonna add the tuna, the red bell pepper, the celery and the onions I'm also gonna add the herbs and spices I have uh, as I mentioned the garlic powder, the oregano and the paprika I'm gonna add the olives, some olive oil, some lemon juice and I'm gonna mix everything together until all these ingredients are well combined together. Now I'm gonna assemble the wraps. I'm gonna smear some Dijon mustard on my tortilla bread. I'm gonna put the lettuce and the tomatoes. And of course, uh, some of that tuna filling I made. Now you wanna wrap it carefully, just like that. Make it tight. Now cut off the ends. And now you wanna put some toothpicks along the wrap just like that just measure how big the bite you want it to be and now using a serrated knife you want to cut in between the toothpicks and that's it then you just want to put them on your plate and they're ready to be served they're delicious and they look so cute next I'm gonna make some bread squares with lunch meat and cheese so I'm gonna need some uh, cheese some deli meat or lunch meat some olives and some lettuce, I cut them into small pieces, just like that. I'm also gonna need some Dijon mustard and some toothpicks. And of course, I'm gonna need some bread, which you can make your own and I have a recipe for that. Or you can use store-bought. I'm using store-bought today and I'm using whole wheat. So I'm gonna cut each one into four pieces for equal squares. And I'm gonna smear some Dijon mustard on top. Then I'm gonna start layering. I'm gonna start first with the lettuce, then a piece of deli meat a piece of cheese and finally an olive and I'm gonna secure everything with a toothpick and that's it with my second idea I'm gonna continue with the same method until I finish all of them place them in a nice platter and they're ready to be served now the following recipe is gonna be feta cheese with roasted bell pepper dip it is so good the roasting taste and the cheese is amazing and the plate looks very beautiful so for the dipping I'm gonna need some crackers and some veggies I place them in a nice platter with a small bowl in the middle to put the dip in now for the dip itself I'm gonna need some roasted garlic of course some feta cheese and some roasted red bell pepper now you can use store-bought or you can roast them yourself and I have a video on how to roast peppers I'm gonna link it down below and on the screen now using my food processor, I'm gonna process first the garlic with the bell pepper. Don't forget to scrape the sides of the bowl. Now you wanna add the feta cheese. And you wanna continue processing until you have the desired consistency. And of course, don't forget to add some olive oil. It makes it super delicious. And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget to scrape the sides of the bowl and continue processing everything together until you have a smooth texture. So that's looking good, it's perfect, that's what you want. Now all you want to do is to place your dip or you want to pour your dip inside of the small bowl and this beautiful platter is ready to be served. It looks amazing and it's really delicious. Next I'm gonna make my omelette muffins. It's simple, it's delicious and the ingredients are basic. Of course I'm gonna need some eggs, some breadcrumbs, some basil oregano and some garlic powder, some chopped onions, some chopped red bell pepper and some cilantro, 
some heavy cream and finally some salt and black pepper so now it's very simple I'm just gonna dump all the ingredients together I'm gonna mix them very well now here I should have whisked the eggs separately but I forgot but that's okay so just add all the ingredients all together and start mixing very well until everything is well combined and all the ingredients are well distributed throughout the mixture now I have here a silicone mold it has uh, hard shapes I'm just gonna brush it generously with some melted butter so that nothing sticks and now I'm gonna start distributing the batter evenly throughout the molds and at this point you want to preheat your oven for uh, 200 degrees Celsius it's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and you want to bake it in the oven for about half an hour maybe 25 minutes it depends on your oven so in the oven they go and this is how they look like when they are out of the oven they look really delicious and they smell so good now all I'm gonna do is to unmold them and put them in a nice platter and look at that they unmold easily because of all that melted butter that we brushed the mold with and now they're ready to be served now the next idea is some cucumber slices with hummus and olives on top it's really as simple as it looks and also it looks fancy and it's delicious so what I'm gonna need is some hummus some green olives and some paprika now for the hummus you can use store-bought of course or you can make it your own and I have a recipe for that on my channel I'm gonna link it down below I'm also gonna link it on the screen on top so here I'm just slicing my cucumber each slice should be about half a centimeter thick now I'm gonna scoop some hummus and I'm gonna put it on top of the cucumber slice just like so as you can see it's very simple nothing complicated about it then I'm gonna top each one with the uh, with an olive they're looking beautiful and cute and finally I'm gonna sprinkle some paprika it gives a really nice color and that's it they're ready to be served I'm just gonna put them in my platter and here you go my cucumber slices with hummus and olive on top now the last and final idea is my phyllo cups with tomato filling it's really good and easy to make it's a little bit time-consuming than the others but it's really good and easy so first I'm gonna need some phyllo pastry I'm gonna need seven layers for the filling I'm gonna need some tomatoes some onions some uh, red bell pepper and some garlic some uh, mozzarella cheese for the herbs I'm gonna need some basil and oregano of course salt and black pepper olive oil and some Dijon mustard so first I'm gonna start by making the filling so simply I'm gonna add all the veggies together along with the herbs and spices and the olive oil and all I'm gonna do is to mix everything together until all these ingredients are well combined And the filling is ready now now I'm gonna move to work with the dough over the phyllo pastry as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna need seven layers and between each layer I'm gonna brush it with some olive oil so here I'm just working with my first layer I'm brushing it with some olive oil now I'm gonna add the second layer of pastry I'm also gonna brush it with some olive oil it gives a really nice flavor now you can substitute the olive oil with melted butter if you like and I'm gonna continue with the same method until I finish all of my pastry sheets now the last layer should be also brushed with olive oil now I'm gonna cut the layers in half and each half I'm gonna cut it into four equal pieces now it depends on the shape of your sheets maybe you'll end up with small squares or small rectangles both are fine as long as the size fits your muffin tin because I'm gonna use that for baking so I'm just brushing the molds with some melted butter to make sure that nothing sticks now I'm gonna place each um, each rectangle or each square of pastry inside of the muffin tin just like that and at this point you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated at 350 degrees it's about 180 celsius so that's looking fine now I'm gonna start the filling I'm gonna start with some uh, Dijon mustard 
Just a little bit, don't add too much. Now add the cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. I'm using mozzarella cheese today. I'm keeping it simple. And finally, you wanna add the filling. Just distribute it evenly between the cups. So that's looking perfect. Now we wanna bake it in your preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's brown and crispy and the cheese is melted. And this is how they look like when they are out of the oven. They're looking so good and delicious. The pastry is really crunchy and they look amazing. Now everything's ready to be served. I hope that you enjoyed these recipes or these ideas and you found them helpful and useful for you. So that was it for today's video. I hope that you share it with your friends and family. As you saw, everything was very easy to make and it's very simple and delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!